Good morning everybody, let's jump straight back into another rigged video. In this video I will be demonstrating and explaining why my second shot at this particular hole uh, was rigged. This actually resulted in me losing the game which is unfair because I did everything correctly and I have the concrete evidence to prove why the shot was rigged. Alright, so we'll start off on the tee box. Uh, aiming center of the fairway, not much wind to speak of, so there's no reason why this would go left or right. Anyway, the problem is not with this shot, the problem is with the second shot. I hit the ding, so it's a perfect shot. Ball lands pretty much exactly where I expected it to. Kicks forward. Good ball. Right, so we left with 107 yards to the flag got six feet of uphill so the shots playing about 109 add a yard or two 110 and uh, I've decided to take out my wedge now the problem that I have with this particular shot why I believe it was rigged is not about the distance that it carries but more about where it finishes in relation to my aim now, we'll play the video. You can see I've selected my wedge. I'm adding full amount, a full less spin, not top spin. There's no such thing as top spin. Uh, there's only less spin and more spin. What this does is it adds a few yards to the to the shot. All right, here's where it gets interesting. I move my aim marker ever so slightly to the right of the flag due to the wind being a right to left wind it's not much wind but it is right to left so the ball should drift if it starts out here it should drift back towards the hole now we'll come back to this but keep a very close eye on where I've, I've uh, placed that aim marker you can see it's probably a foot or so outside the right edge of the hole full power I hit the ding so there is no reason why the ball should be starting off the aim marker which in my case was one foot outside the right edge of the hole remember this hitting the ding means the ball should go exactly where you aimed not left not right not where WGT thinks it should go it should go where you place the aim marker if you do everything right there should be no mistakes in the game there should be no mistakes in your shot if you do everything right alright so I've hit the ding we're gonna let the ball let the, sh the shot continue to play out and look where it's finishing look how far right from the player's perspective the shot is finishing keep in mind I placed the A marker over here so even though the shot is short it should have started over here it should have been in this region drifting from right to left this is now the reverse camera angle so it now looks left to right but I always talk from the player's perspective right to left it should have started in this region and the wind should have brought it back at the hole it probably would have finished over here somewhere in front of the hole instead it's finishing five or six feet left or from the player's perspective, five or six feet right of where I aimed. I aim over here and the ball is finishing further away from the target despite the wind blowing in the opposite direction. If you remember where I paused the video earlier, my aim marker was in this region over here. 
just outside of the pin. How can the ball finish more to the right when I hit the ding earlier and the wind is blowing from right to left? How does the ball finish more to the right? Let's go back here to when I place the A marker. As you can see there, I'm aiming outside the flag. Yet when we get here to 41 seconds, the ball is finishing well right of the hole. One more time, 31 seconds, I'm aiming outside the flag, just right, wanting to get the ball to drift back towards the hole due to the right to left wind. We jump to 41 seconds and we can see the ball is finished well right of where I actually aimed. Despite the right to left wind, despite my aim marker, this ball went where WGT wanted it to go and not where I wanted it to go. Not where I did everything right. I did every calculation correctly. I did everything right to try and get this ball close to the hole. And WGT had other ideas, setting me up with a fairly difficult putt, which on a T12 green, no less, which I was never going to sink because the game was already decided. WGT did not want me to win this game. It was rigged for my opponent to win. As you can see, I needed a birdie in the hope that my opponent would make par to force a tie off. I was never going to get it. Of course, it would stop on the edge. Any other day, 99 times out of 100, that putt would have dropped. But that was just adding insult to injury. The ball had plenty of momentum. Should have actually just dropped in the hole, but WGT had other ideas for me. And that's why I believe this shot was rigged. If you can leave your comments below, tell me why you think I might be wrong, please feel free to do so. If you can prove me wrong, go ahead and do so. Please do. Thank you for watching.